out to help us break down all of this is Independent Women's Forum Senior Fellow, former State Department Deputy Special Envoy to Combat Anti-Semitism, an Iranian refugee, Ellie Kohanim. Ellie, thank you so much for being here. It's not surprising that these terrorists, these Hamas terrorists, targeted the, the innocent, but particularly women, children, and the elderly. But the, the forceful response from Israel, this is nevertheless uncharted territory that we're seeing. Dagan, it's exactly as you described. Uh, the, the attack on Israel is unprecedented in terms of the bloodlust, the anti-Semitic hate of Jews that we're seeing play out on uh, social media, on footage that Hamas themselves took uh, committing atrocities against Jewish women, against children, against the elderly. And Hamas has really revealed exactly their character. This is not about Israel. This is not about land and territory, because Israel unilaterally pulled out in 2005 out of Gaza. This is about really that Hamas and Iran, they are their patron state, does not and cannot uh, handle the existence of a Jewish state in the Middle East. And this is what we are dealing with is a religious war that is being, that is being uh, brought upon the Jewish state of Israel. Elliot, it was a horrific attack in the images that we see on our screen, but also you see on other social media platforms, they're gut-wrenching. You wanna, you, you, it makes you wanna throw up. Um, but I, I wonder, as Israel justifiably comes in with overwhelming force, if that's exactly what Iran wants to see Israel do, is it a way for, Israel, uh, for Iran to somehow um, coalesce the enemies of Israel by this overwhelming attack? Uh, and in the end, could Israel be playing into Iran's hand here? The Islamic Republic of Iran from 1978, when they seized power in Iran, has uh, made it their, their reason for existence, is that they say that they want to eliminate the Jewish state of Israel, and they've done everything in their power to, to try to achieve that, that goal. And so the Iranian regime has, um, through a terror proxy, training and arming of Hamas in Gaza. Yeah. Ellie, we're losing your... Israel, and, and I should say also through their... Uh, no, continue. We were just uh, losing the Iranian, your... The, sure, sure. Okay. So the Islamic Republic has done their best to try to encircle Israel, and their goal is to eliminate Israel. What Israel needs to do right now is that they need to end Hamas in Gaza and take every step necessary to defend itself and, and its citizens. And so this is not playing into Iran's hands. It's, it's what the moment demands of Prime Minister Netanyahu. And, uh, and what we need from the Biden administration right now is to not only give Netanyahu the free hand to end Hamas, but also to restock uh, the Israeli weapons supply and, and to, really, to really come through for Israel in its great moment of need at this time. Well, it would be helpful if Joe Biden didn't call a cap on the day at noon for two days in a row, especially when uh, the attacks in Israel are going on. Ellie Kohanan, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it.